Tanzania's year-on-year -year inflation rate fell to 18.7% in April from 19.0% in March, the fourth consecutive fall, according to the National Bureau of Statistics. Apronias Mbilini, economist at Economic and Social Research Foundation, now joins us to unpack the numbers further. Apronias, are ordinary Tanzanians feeling this continual drop in inflation? Yeah, inflation has a bit uh, eased from the um, the past one, uh, which was 19 percent up to 18.7 percent. This is really a good news. Although, if we look at the statistics more critically, uh, the inflation, the, the the annual one, has been going up. The trend is still going up, and even the the, the currency is really losing its value which means Tanzanians have to pay more in terms of food items, in terms of uh, fuel, energy, and other uh, goods which are needed for their life. So and, uh, really, uh, life is becoming a bit tough here in, in Tanzania. Which is an the interesting point. The real challenge here is uh, the food items and energy. Right, because I was going to head right there. Across East Africa, the economies are interlinked, Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania especially, and food and fuel prices especially have been on an upward trend right now. Do, what is the outlook from Tanzania on that? Yeah, really, this is a big challenge. If you look at the inflation or trend in the three or five countries at the moment, is that uh, if, uh, the, the food inflation is still very high, which means that... Uh, the biggest challenge for the development of these countries is purely a food inflation, which means Tanzanians, Kenyans, and Ugandans, and the other East Africans have to pay more in terms of food items, and not forgetting the energy challenges, which is really facing Tanzania and the other EAC countries. As you remember last time, last two months, the Tanzanian government had raised the, the energy price by 40%. And the, 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 the Tanzania manufacturing uh, sector studies had indicated that uh, this is costing the, the country by almost 30 percent of the GDP. And even looking at the last year's uh, quarter data, the GDP has gone down by almost uh, two uh, points, which means that energy is really costing this country and uh, the, the food challenges, which is really affecting the, the, the economies of the EAC countries. And you rightly mentioned that energy has a direct impact on the cost of just about everything for ordinary consumers. Is therefore is there a, a, a fear that that headline that annual inflation could keep rising because of the rise in energy costs, which appears right now there's no stopping to that? Yeah, really, this is a big challenge for the the, the, the EAC countries, particularly in Tanzania, because uh, it's like uh, last month the, the the Tanzania Electric Company Tanesco had uh, issued some information which is really shocking that uh, because of the low uh, rain um, seasons and uh, the, the, the current situation of drought in some parts of the country, uh, the hydropower generation will be less, almost by 20%. This is really shocking for the country, and then particularly for the manufacturing sector and even the agriculture sector, which really depends on the, uh, the availability of rainfall. But uh, the government has long-term plans for using um, the, 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 the gas, which is really plenty in the country, but much of the investment has to be done there. So the biggest challenge at the moment is the, the power, which is really costing the nation, and the food challenges. Do you feel that there's sufficient planning by the government that you mentioned, let's say, so that if there is uh, any weather uncertainties that there are no direct impacts on the, on the consumers, or at least they're insulated to a certain point, because that is a problem many East African nations have. At one point, there is too much rain, and the other point, there's hardly enough rain, and therefore the consumers suffer. Yeah, if you look at the data and the information the government is providing and the other EAC countries, is that there are a lot of plans ahead, but the implementation has been a big challenge. This has always been a big challenge for most of the developing countries. We have so many plans, but implementing has been a big challenge. So there are so many information, so many plans, so many strategies, but implementation is a big challenge. And it's not only in the agriculture sector and the power sector. Almost all the sectors, we plan so much, but implementation has been always lagging behind. This is a big problem for the for the country and the other EAC countries. Implementing what we plan, this is a big challenge. And I don't see any good signs ahead.